folks, and welcome back to another Wise Game video. In today's video, we're playing Tales of Vesperia, the DE, or the Definitive Edition, that's available now in English for the West. came out a couple of weeks ago, and I'm playing the computer version one from Steam. It's also available on PlayStation 4, the Nintendo Switch, and the Xbox One. The topic for today's video is going to be basics about the battle system, getting started, what it's what it's about. It's mainly going to be in auto mode for this video, and how to conserve like TP points and your items and all that when you're in auto mode. TP points is what we call tech points in the game, and they're indicated by the blue bar that we see that each member has. So the tech points actually that's kind of like what mana points are in a lot of other games so once they deplete that you're not going to be able to use your skills and abilities heals so on and so forth this game also in auto 2 makes it where you can use items and items they'll they will automatically use if they feel that they need to and the items in this game they only hold 15 of each item which we know that's not a lot of items if you're in a big dungeon and there's a boss at the end so if you play this game on auto and you don't know how to optimize it, you can burn through these items really, really, really fast. And the same with their TP points. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video is mainly how to optimize the game where you could actually play for a couple of hours and not have to worry about your items being used up. So we're going to head on over to a good battle area where we could actually demonstrate this and tie this all together. Now the main person that I've read in forums or whatnot that a lot of people are complaining about that they're always running out of TP and items and all that is Estelle. Because Estelle is a healer. So the healer in the game on, on auto she's going to heal whenever somebody gets low so she's going to be using a lot of healing and we could see that the healing abilities in this game do not come cheap so to use nurse which is one of her best abilities because it heals up the whole group it uses 42 TP points every time you go to use that so every time the game goes to use that on the AI system it's actually going to use 42 points so you get into a, a couple of battles, you're running out of TP points. Now you do replenish a little bit of TP after each battle, but it's a very small percentage. The usage next to it that we see that says 79, that's how many times you've used it since she learned that ability. And the same with our other characters, most of their skills are tied to TP points. So... They could really burn through those TP points rather quickly. Okay, so here we are inside the place I wanted to be at. And keep in mind, though, I'm still a little bit higher than these guys are. I haven't come out to a new dungeon yet. So this is the last one that I cleared. So I'm a little bit stronger now than these guys. So they're not going to give me the full effect as a new place would. Where they're going to be higher and do more damage to me and all that. So basically, let's look at the menu. This is where their arts are that we already kind of went over earlier. But this is the main spot right here that is going to make this optimized. So we could actually set up the game where they're not going to burn through all these TP points and items so quickly. This is where you could set it up to do that. So we go to strategy that looks like a checkerboard. And in here, you've got these different options, full charge, moderate, Defend and save TP. I know it doesn't look like many options for a Tails game, but if we look at the very bottom, we're going to see Edit, and it has the X button. So if we click on that now over each one, it's now going to open up a deeper menu where you can now make these adjustments. So on Save TP, I set it up to now where they have Use 25%, Use Half, Items, I got it up to you. If you put it on up to you, they pretty much use uh, items all the time. So I'm actually going to change that to uh, uh, condition. 
I'm going to try that. And then there's another one here too called OVL. That's for over limit. Over limit you get about 10 to 15 hours into the game. So you're not going to start off with this. And that's the gauge that we see during during the battles. So let's try that. In full charge, I'm using a similar setup. But with this one, I got it where they could use all their arts. So they're going to burn through a lot more TP points in full charge. Because this is built for bosses. And their items, I have it mainly where they're going to use items all the time. Because against the boss fight, I don't care. I just want to kill the guy. In over limit, I got it set up this way. So, let's get into a battle now first on, let's see here, I want to do it on save TP. So, whichever one's set on the top is what they're going to use defaulted when they enter a battle. You could change it within the battle by pressing the directional button on each one that you have assigned in these two boxes. So, if I want to switch it to full charge in the midst of the battle, I just get the directional button and I press to the left. And it should make it now where they go into full charge mode. But I pretty much like to change it still in the menu here myself to make sure it's going to work. So we'll, we'll fight this guy. And right now I'm in save TP. So I was already down a little bit on Yuri, the guy way to the left. But we're going to see that they should hardly ever go through any TP points right now. But still get these guys where they could kill them. Now, if we look to the left, that's our over-limit gauge. As it builds up while they're fighting, what I showed you earlier in the strategy menu makes it now where he's going to be able to use it on auto mode. So when it fills up all the way where it says number one at the bottom, it's now going to kick in and he's going to be able to use it. If you don't set it up that way, you can't use it in auto mode. You've got to stop it, open up the menu during the battle, and then press a button or something, and then they'll use it. But this way, he's going to be able to use it, as we'll see. One more on this setting. And we can see that their TP's already back up, because they get back like 15, 20 points after each battle. They're hardly using any. Right there, he's going to use an item for his poison, which is good. I want him to do that with the way I set up his item usage. So their TP points should not go down much lower than they are right now, except for um, the healer. And I don't know where she went. I don't know why, why the dog's in there all of a sudden. Let's see. She's still in the main menu. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually change it. Now I'll, I'll do it in battle to show you guys. All right, so they're, they're pretty back up on TP points. Again, we haven't used really any items except for that poison item. I don't care about those because it's not a heal item, really. And now we're going we're gonna to change it over to full charge. Now, full charge, I, I got it with their TP. They're going to use all of it. And the item's pretty much all of it, too. And watch on how much TP points you could actually burn through if you don't set this up correctly. Mainly the guy to the far left. He really goes through a lot. And like I said, this is an easy fight for me. So by the second battle, he's going to be out of TP points unless if he starts eating items. Which is what we don't really want. See? It's going right down. Now he's got to use another bottle for... Um, That's for any stat. She's she's chucking an orange gel, which is a TP item. That's why his TP went back up, because one of the members threw him an item for it. So we could see the big difference between that and save TP. And that's basically how you regulate it, where where they're not going through all these items and using up all that TP. Now, again, against a boss fight, yeah, you want to use everything. 
All right, now, if we notice to the far left, he used automatically the over limit. Because now it's back down to zero. And it's building back up again. So he did use it automatically. Now he's using another orange gel. So, so far, we already went through two or three orange gels. Went through a couple of other items. The TP's getting really low. So that's the difference right there. So it depends all on how you set it up in strategies. Now, if we went to put it back on save TP, they wouldn't have used any items hardly, and they'd still have most of their TP points. And that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. So that's how you optimize your game where you're not burning through all these items in TP. And how many times did I say TP? <laughs> A lot, right? But that's basically what the, what the video is about. All right, guys. So that's what I wanted to cover today. Thanks for stopping by and watching Wise Gamer. Feel free to comment below. Sub up for more future videos. And we'll catch you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.